Hey, Sandy. All right, let me see here. I want to get all my stuff listed on here. Hold tight a minute. Let me get all my stuff done. Hey, Peggy. Let me get all my I's dotted and my T's crossed. I'm trying to get everything posted on here. I need to post. Hey, Donna. Hey, Marty. Happy Saturday. Do all the things for me, guys. Let's see if we can't get a few people in here tonight. Why is that not working? All right. We will just... It's showing me last night's live, which is not what I want. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate that. Bear with me a second, guys. We'll get started. I've had a busy day today. Been working on centerpieces for the craft show. All that good stuff. You know what I mean? Thank you, Sandy. That's my little gingerbread girl. All things gingerbread tonight. Alright, there it is. That's what I want. So, let me see if I can copy and paste it. See if I can paste it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Is it going to let me, though? Huh. That I've never seen before. But okay. wonder if it'll let me pin post it. You know, all this technology, guys. And it won't let... Oh, there it is. Pin comment. Okay. I got that done. So we can get started. Alright. Oh, what a mess. Hey, Jessica. Okay, guys. Same technique we did last night with the and the mesh to the base. We're going to use a white base tonight. Because everything's going to be red and white with the gingerbreads. And this, for some reason, has been grabbing the heck out of my shirt. I guess where I have my sleeves turned back. So. It's being a pain. So we'll try and pull those out of the way. Now I've already done the outside. Oh, I guess I should tell you guys. Anybody out there watching that hasn't watched me before, my name's Betty. I'm with Shore Life Creations. 
and I do beach decor and more. Here lately I've been a lot doing a lot of more. Uh, this is going to be a gingerbread wreath tonight. I was going to do it on a swag. I uh, couldn't find my swag. It's lost in the shuffle around here somewhere. So we got a white vase. Pulled that out. So we're going to work on that tonight. Come on in. Join us. Let's have a great Saturday night. All right. I did the outside already. So now we're just going to add to the inside. We're going to roll as usual. This is 10 inch mesh and it's cut in 20 inch strips. So we're going to roll this end and just scrunch it together and we'll start working on the inside of this wreath. Now tonight I was supposed to be live on Christina Cuther's page. Cuther's Creations. I have her site pinned. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I'm not on her page tonight. But she said, you know, just go on my page. So I said, okay. Um, but I promised her I was going to promote her shop tonight. Whether it was on her page or my page. So, the ribbons I'll be using tonight, you can get from CoothersCreations.com. This mesh, I think you can get from CoothersCreations.com. Uh, she has the white teardrop, which you cannot find anywhere else right now, I don't think, on her site, CoothersCreations.com. So, my ginger, my girl ginger, I love her. I have a little boy too, but the girl gets top billing tonight. you're out there, please say hi. Let us know where you're from. Hey, Debbie, what your weather is like. If I don't speak to you, it could be because I didn't see your comment or Facebook didn't show me your comment. That happens a lot here lately. They filter out comments for no reason. So to feel free just to say it again. I don't mind. You're not going to bother me. Jessica, are you still creating? Are you done for the day? Or did you get busy at work today? I got to go shopping today. I had a good time. I spent too much money though. Bought things that I knew I wanted to make for the craft show coming up. If I made everything I bought stuff to make, it would be a lot of stuff. I don't think I could use everything I've got in the next year. But I think that's with all us creatives. My mesh is sticking to my gingerbread people. These are our people. These are our people. You gotta love our people. This is our people. I got these at TDR Retreat last weekend. Oh, uh, yeah, I went to Walmart today, too. It was pretty busy. It's cold here, too. Yeah, I've been in, I've been here ever since we got home from shopping. Hey, Shirley. Well, Virginia is here in the house, too. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Joan. Gosh, I missed a lot of you guys. Hey, Mary Jane. 
I didn't mean to miss you guys. I must not have been looking. It's cold in the house here, too. Actually, it's nice and warm in the she shed. I actually worked for a couple hours and I had on the Roku TV. So I watched uh, Driving Miss Daisy. I haven't watched that in forever. You know, good old movies. Ones you watch over and over again. And now I've got on Grumpy Old Men. Hey, Bev. How are you, honey? And this is exactly one roll of 10-inch mesh cut in 20-inch strips. And it's going to be exactly enough for this wreath base. This wreath base is a 24-inch wreath base. Pine wreath base. Thank you, Mary Jane. I really appreciate that. I would like to see a lot of people here tonight watching watching this video. I'm trying to build the numbers up. And we have a few. They're quiet. They're not saying anything. But we got a few people here. I posted, I pin posted at the the uh, bottom of the page where you can go to Cuther's Creations to get this mesh, get the ribbon we're going to use tonight. Um, I also tagged. A li the listing for this wreath specifically is already listed in my Etsy shop for sale. So if you like what you see and you want it, it's right there. Ready. For anybody that's interested. Sounds like somebody's revving up their motors out there. racing by. I had a couple extra, so I'm just tucking them in here. Yeah, it's cold here today, too. Hey, Nellie from PA. Welcome. It's good to have you. We're doing all things gingerbread tonight. I got my girl up here. She's visiting you guys. All right. We got that done. Now, we want ribbon tails. Do you think I know what kind of ribbon tails we want to do? Of course not. I never know. Now, my bows are already made because I'm using some bows I made a couple of weeks ago. We're going to put one at the top, probably this one at the top, and this one at the bottom. We're going to have our gingerbread people on each side. So, ribbon tails first. And I have and I was thinking about this one and this one for ribbon tails. I like this one's kind of country plaid, kind of like this. Okay, Jessica. So we'll see. Let's go with these two and see how they look. I mean, I could go with more polka dots, but I thought maybe something different. Or we could go with something black and white. But I'm not sure. 
Maybe we should just stick with the red and white. <coughs> a car pulled out with two men and one lady and two small children. The adults were passing around a joint and a bottle of alcohol. They were having fun. Yeah, sounds like they were having fun. Good Lord. All right, we're going to go with these two. So let's try and put this over here to the side and cut us a few. 14 inch. My ribbon boards came from Beautiful Mesh. She has them for sale on her Etsy shop. Check those out. I'm just advertising everybody tonight. But I don't mind. It's what it's all about. I always use a, a spool holder when I'm doing my ribbons. I forgot how many last night we did. I'm thinking we did like 14. Two. Four. Six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Let's start with fourteen. Yeah, you do. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? I'm doing great. It's been a great day. It's been a cold day. But it's been a very nice day with the husband and even my daughter went with us because her plans got changed at the last minute. So she went with us. So we all had lunch together while we were out shopping. So it was a good day. I got to go to the at-home store, which I haven't been there in forever. But a lot of the stuff I wanted was sold out already. But, of course, I found other stuff, but the coastal stuff I was looking for was sold out. Needless to say, I still spent enough money. Were they in their jammies? Yeah. Hey, Jamie. Happy Saturday. We are cutting ribbon tails. I wish we were allowed to play some music. We listened to some Christmas music on the radio today. Of course, you know, everybody's playing Christmas music, which I think is wonderful. I saw Brooks post today. Y'all follow her. Um... Rehab, Brooks, uh, Riley. Um, and I agree with her on her comment. She said that she went somewhere, was checking out, buying some Christmas stuff. And the cashier said something to her about her buying Christmas stuff already. Which, one, that's none of her business. And two, that doesn't help with her job very well when she's supposed to be selling whatever the store is selling. But anyway, she made the comment about it wasn't even Thanksgiving yet. You know, everybody's pushing for Christmas. And you know, I've always felt this way. So I agree with Brooke when she says she told her that she is thankful every day, 365 days a year. But it's not just one day a year that she's thankful. And that just because she likes to decorate for Christmas does not mean that she is less thankful for anything that she has or take away from Thanksgiving. And I agree with her. I don't know why everybody gets so twisted um, about when somebody's decorating for Christmas or when they start playing Christmas music or... You know, anything that has to do, I mean, 
to each their own. I enjoy it. I like hearing the Christmas music. You know, if it makes people happier, nicer, and feeling better about things, why not? That's two. How many did I do before? Lord, I lost track. I get preaching. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. I think we did fourteen. We can always cut more. Amen. I'm glad y'all agree with me. You know? I don't see anything wrong with anything that is positive, uplifting, makes people happy. If it doesn't make you happy, turn it off. Amen, Michelle. Right there with you. I think if they would mind their own business, take care of their own backyard, life would be good. Their life might be better. I don't know. You know, I'm getting ready to start decorating the outside of my she shed. I might do that tomorrow if the weather's better than it was today. I mean, the weather wasn't bad. It was just cold and really windy. But, you know, that's my decision. If I want to blast Christmas music in July, that's my business. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it was actually the checker at the store. I forgot where she was, if she was at TJ Maxx or somewhere. That was lecturing her or preaching to her about it. And I'm like, this is your job. You're here to sell. I don't care if it's Christmas, Halloween. Doesn't matter. You shouldn't be saying that to your customers. So, anywho, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. People never cease to amaze me. I love the, the snowy edges on the ribbons. That's right, Vanessa. I'm right there with you. You know? I love Christmas. I love giving. I love the season. I love, you know, just the whole positivity of the time of year. Not too sure I'm loving all this cold weather, but hey, it comes with it. I can't tell which side of this plaid is right and wrong. Hey, Beverly, Bev Shirley, how are you? You're not late. All I did was put the mesh on the frame. So now I'm adding ribbon tails. Now we're going to add the ribbon tails. And once we get that done, we're going to add our gingerbread peoples and our bows. And then we'll see what else it needs, if it needs anything. Because it might just need a little extra something-somethings going on. I'm just going to scatter these around. Because, you know, on these pine bases, you don't put them in every twist because you'd be putting them everywhere. So you just kind of spread them out. I try to pick ones that have uh, mesh in them and put them in these. I guess just because that makes sense in my brain. Of 
for some odd reason. Let me move my bows because they're grabbing the wreath. The wreath is going to pull them in the floor. Oh, Lord, I haven't seen him on one of my lives in forever. Hey, Damon. What's happening? Don't you like what's on my head? It's everything gingerbread. She's my girl. That's my gingerbread girl. We're doing everything gingerbread tonight. You don't like my gingerbread girl? I have a boy. You want to wear him? I'll send him. You can wear the gingerbread boy on your head. I think that would probably cause a laughter riot if you wore one on your head. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I could see it going a little wild if you wore the gingerbread on your head. It might be another viral, viral video. These are going in there too, but they got to get out of my way right now. They're causing issues. Everything's grabbing tonight for some reason. Yes. So, as we talk about people minding their own business, you know? Spreading the joy when people mind their own business. Why not? Again, you know, if I want to listen to Christmas music in November, does that make me a bad person? I certainly would hope not. Who out there has got snow? We haven't gotten snow yet, but it's been cold enough to snow. Good Lord. It went from, it was, what day was it? Thursday. It was in the upper 70s here Thursday. Now, it's down in the low 30s. Mac and cheese and pizza. Well, that's a combination. We haven't had dinner. Not yet. I could zoom in. Y'all don't need to look at me. Then Damon wouldn't have seen my gingerbread headdress. I hear him laughing all the way from Louisiana. Laughing at me. What is that on your head? It's all about small things. Hey, Rabinovich. I like this plaid. It's different. I actually think this red plaid ribbon came from Scott at Riverside Rendezvous when I went there. I got the red plaid ribbon from him. I'm just spreading the cheer with all the different places that I bought from. You know? I try to support everybody. Some days I wonder who's going to support me when I'm broke. But the gingerbread ribbon that's in the bow, you can get from Couther's Creations. 
try to find where my next tie is. If you need white teardrop swags, she's got those. Because I haven't been able to find them anywhere else right now. I think everybody else has sold out of the white. But she's got some. I don't know how many she's got left. But I didn't tell you guys till I ordered mine first. Because I had to have some. I was out. Well, thank you, Jane. I appreciate that. You know, most people that follow me know that grapevines are my jam. And that's what I normally do. But, at Christmas time, I always seem to break out and do some of the mesh. Even though it's not a mesh on a um, wreath form like a regular work form. Because I do like working with the pine pine bases. Even though this one's white. It's still a white pine base. I do that at Christmas time because you know you have to do what customers like. And I find let's grab me again. I find that the customers like the mesh for Christmas. You know there is there are the ones that like grapevine also but I'm trying to hit all all the people I can hit both sides of the tracks. We're going to go both sides of the tracks. All right. Because, you know, it's make your money now. And this fourth quarter. Speaking of, anybody out there watching is interested in this wreath. It's already listed in my Etsy shop. The link is in the pen post. Can I show you how to make a bow? I could try. I've already made the bows for this one. But I can show you. When we get done. If you want to tr learn different bow techniques, check out Kali, K-E-L-E-A-S, Kali's, on Facebook. She does Bow Wednesday with the Easy Bow every week. And she shows all different techniques on how to make different types of bows. You don't have to be a member of any group or anything. I love newbies. It's great to have you here. We like newbies. All right, I need to stand up and see where we're missing. Let's see. I think we need something here. You guys welcome Chris. Give him a good welcome. Any other newbies out there? Don't be shy. Come on in. We're just having a Saturday night party. I'm going to try and put this in here where there's not a mesh. Because I feel like there's an empty spot here that needs something. So we're going to give it something. If it needs it, we're going to give it to it. How about that? Just like that. 
And I think we've hit all the spots. We have one more ribbon tail. We're not going to waste it. So let me hold this up and look. And see where we need to be. Thinking over here. <coughs> Maybe. Thank you, Chrissy. Hey, Wendy. Well, welcome. From Missouri. Is it cold in Missouri? I know, teen. I never go this late, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got. Well, let's grab my shirt again. You got to do what you got to do. So I'm doing what I got to do. And right now I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put this ribbon tail. Because I'm not going to waste it. So I'm shifting and shimmying. But I can't find a spot that needs it. Believe it or not. We're about ribboned out here. Alright, so we'll put that to the side for right now. Okay. Not bad. We'll be Monday and Tuesday. Let's put our peoples on here. How about that? One on each side. We got the boy and the girl. Okay. Then we're going to or we could put them both on one side, but I think that's an awful lot on one side. Don't you guys? Hey, Dawn. You like them more on, one, on each side or both on one side? What do you think? I'll take a sip while I wait for you guys to answer. I'll take a sippy sip. Wait and see what you guys think. Thank you, Joan. One on each side. I got a vote. One on each side. Debbie Nowak. I'm waiting here. I'm gonna put go ahead and poke my holes while I'm waiting to hear from you guys. Get my pipe cleaners. I know there's a lag. So you gotta wait on the lag. One on each side, one on each side, one on each side. But stagger them. One higher and one lower. Okay? Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna do a little surgery. We're gonna cut a little holes in the back. So we're going to do a little spinal surgery here. Ow! Ow! You hear that? No anesthesia. But she survived. We got a pipe cleaner in her back. Oh Lord, trouble just got here. Lord, trouble just came in. All right. We'll put her up a little bit higher. Hey, Beneva. I love that name. I'm vicious. I don't think I'm vicious. Why would you say that? I don't have a vicious bone in my body. I don't know why you would think that. Alright, I'm attaching her in the back. I 
Okay. She's on there. Now let's put our dude, our ginger dude down here. And we're going to do a little surgery on him. Ow! Ow! But of course, you know, he's a boy ginger, so he'd cry longer than the girl. He'd still be crying. Because, you know, that's how men are. You're not trouble? Ha! Huh, that's a matter of opinion. It sounded like you at the dentist. Maybe you're not trouble. Maybe you're in trouble. How about that? If you're not trouble, you're in trouble. I think that's probably the case. Okay. So we've got him strapped down. Let's take a look. I wish it would stop grabbing my shirt. There we go. So far, so good. I know it hurt me too, Jamie. Ouch. All right. Of course, you know, you got to keep straightening out your ribbons. Now, let's add these bows. I have two bows made. One's a little smaller, so we're going to put the smaller one at the bottom. The bigger one at the top. So. Let's feed these through. Thank you, Wendy. If I can get it through the all the stuff I got going on here. And not lose lose the grip on the pipe cleaner. y'all would do all the things and hit all the buttons and share the love, I really would appreciate it, guys. It means a lot. Alright, now let's put the top one on. Thank you, Mary Jane. I love my gingerbread people. Now, yes, I do know that this, my gingerbread people are upside down on this one. Don't shoot me. I realized it after I was done making the bow. So don't shoot me. I may have to cut it out and redo it. Put it back in. But we're leaving it for right now. Oh, well, thank you, teen. I like my headpiece. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that, Jamie. Hey, Linda. All right. Now, of course, I may cut this shorter anyway because we don't want it covering up our people you know you don't want to cover up the people now uh, this is the time when I always get out my um, easel because this is when I start adding little something somethings and if you've watched me before you know now is when I need to thank you Bev Thank you, Chrissy. So, and I have to do this from standing and looking. Can you guys see okay? Can you see our peoples? Our GB peoples? 
and I could take these and give them a curl and people probably wouldn't notice that my peoples are upside down but I have a terrible habit of that and I usually don't think about it or notice it until after I finished and then I have to go back and cut it out and put a new tail in you know what I mean let me move y'all over here so I can see what you're saying Who's singing? Who is singing? All right. Singing. We're going to put some of these berries in here. We're going to put some of this glittery white stuff in here. Just because we want to add a little extra pizzazz. We might put some of these candies in here. So. I'll figure it out as I go. Because that's how I roll. I'm not very good at planning ahead. But I do like the candies. I like it better than throwing it in the floor. But I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put it. One behind the bow. Thank you. Is it Joyce or is it Jerry? Is it Jerry or Joyce? And I need my oh, stem cutter. You can get your stem cutter from Deco Exchange if they have them in stock. I highly recommend it, especially for things that are this thick. And this has paper and a ribbon on it so we got to glue that so make sure it stays together until I get it glued into the wreath in the glue you go and let's go up here and besides the glue I'm going to take a piece of pine and wrap around it also so that I know it is secure and it's not going anywhere. And I'm touching the glue, which is probably not a good idea, but I don't want my customer to have a wreath that's falling apart because it wasn't secure. So, I am putting my pine around it. There we go. Just like that. Alright. So, if we have one, we got to have more. You can't have just one. You know, it's kind of like potato chips. You can't have just one. I keep hearing noises outside. I locked my she shed door when I came in. Because I'm not used to being out here this late. And I don't want anybody sneaking up on me. I told my husband, if I wasn't back by a certain time come looking for me. Of course, you know, he's right next door in the house. But you never know. Alright, I got that in there. Where do you think you're going, Chicky? Get your butt back up there. Okay. Hey, Renee. It's teen singing. 
Somebody tell me, is Teeny saying, Teeny singing? Teeny, you were supposed to send me some stuff you haven't sent to me. Girl, you're gonna make me stress at the last minute trying to get stuff done. Now this, the little bedazzles are coming off of it. What the hay? I've got glue stuck to my fingernails. We have to restick the bedazzles. Joanna, in the pin post on this live is a link that'll take you directly to the listing for this wreath. It's all listed in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I gotta cut those tails too. If you're interested. You know, it's probably, I probably haven't charged enough for it. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to use on it. So if somebody gets it before I'm finished, I will update that listing. Once I get done with whatever I'm putting in here. And add up the prices. I have a feeling it's going to be a little more than what's listed on the Etsy shop right now. So you're, if you get it now, you're getting a bargain. Getting a bargain. Okay, just got my shirt. Again. Alright. Sorry. I turned it, y'all couldn't see. I need a little, whew, I need to turn the heat down. It's what I need between these lights and the heat. I'm having a flush. No, the glue gun is a shore bonder. Shore bonder comes both corded and cordless. I have both. The cordless one's in the house. This stand is from Susie's Wreaths and Things. It has a tile so that your glue, when it drips, you just wipe it off. Stand. It's really cool. Susie's Wreaths and Things makes a great glue gun stand. Oh, mess going on here. Let's get some of this mess out of the way. Wait. Hey, Josie. Oh, I thought I missed a trash can then. I don't even know why I bother. I got the stem cutter right here. Um, this one, when I went on one of my trips, I left it on, so it burned all the glue out of it, so it got scorched, so my glue looks a little icky, but it's fine, it's fresh glue in there and all. Um, I never, one time, I'll, I'll take that back, it's been about two years ago. I tried to pour the glue out and replace the glue. I do not recommend that. It was a mess. It got all over the sides. And then when you turn your glue pot on, you've got all that melted glue on the sides. Just throw the whole thing out and buy another one for $18 or whatever it is. Yep. It's not worth it. Just not worth it. I like that. I just dripped hot glue. I saw that. 
I don't know where it went. Oh, it went on my easel. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Hey, Emily Garcia. How are you, babe? Are you having a good Saturday? I'm just going to place these around in different spots. Give it a little bling. A little snowy feel. Because I like it. I do like it. Now that I just turned the heat off, it got really quiet in here. I didn't realize it was making that much noise. Lauren, what are you up to tonight? I saw last night you were wrapping a styrofoam ring while you were hanging out with the hubs. We're doing all things gingerbread tonight. My head is gingerbread. My wreath is gingerbread. We're just enjoying gingerbread. I don't have any to eat, though. I don't have any gingerbread to eat. I did make fudge yesterday, though, guys. And it was good. Or it is good. I haven't eaten it all. But it's good. It is good fudge. Last time I tried to make fudge was the first time. And it was a flop so I was worried it was going to be a flop again but no it turned out good I think last time I didn't keep stirring it like I was supposed to I don't have the patience to stand there and just stir 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 but I did this time I did what I was supposed to do and I stirred it so I think that probably made the difference Oh, Lord. She's having work done, I can tell, in the house. Been there and done that. I know what that's all about. I really need to stand back so I can see what needs to be added. And this one pick is going a long way because I'm breaking it into smaller sections. So yeah, it's going a long way. Which is what you want. You want picks that will go the distance for you. We have two more pieces, and we don't want to waste them. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it was humid yesterday. It was freezing. It was cold. And I thought about making soup, but I didn't want to go to the grocery store. I was being lazy. So I didn't make soup. I made fudge. I mean, you know, how much healthier can you be? You don't make soup, you make fudge. I really like the little glitz going on there. 
I need to curl their tails a little more. I got one little piece of this left. Y'all sprinkle the love. I appreciate it. So, where are we going to go with that? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't even see a place to put it. But I like. Unless we go up underneath here. We'll just stick it under the bow. That's always a good place to go. Under the bow. Just like that. Okay. How cute is that? My glue pot is sitting on a cutting glass um, kitchen cutting mat. I learned the hard way years ago not to put it on your table. Did you hear me? I learned that the hard way. And don't put it on your mat. You'll be sorry if you put it on your mat. I'm just saying. Alright, I was going to add some of these berries. But I don't think it needs it. So, ixnay on the berries. I think we got everything in this wreath out that we need. I just knocked y'all over. Upper right. I think we're okay in the upper right. I think we're alright. I know there was a delay. You probably typed that five minutes ago. And I just saw it. Alright. Let's look at it up close and personal. And see what you guys think. Mm. I do have a couple ornaments I was going to put in it. There's the girl. There's the boy. I see the hearts. I love it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Kathy. Now, I had a couple of ornaments I pulled out. But I don't know if these will go or not. there. I only have two. Y'all tell me. Let me know. Should we do the ornament? If I can get the other one out of plastic. Maybe one here. I don't know if we should put that on his head. Maybe up a little higher. Alright, you tell me, does it need the ornaments or not? Without... Hey, Jana Mays.
No. I got a yes, a no, with, don't think so, with, 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 oh, the with were taken over. Yes, I like them. Yes. Okay, let's see what we can do then. That's on there like that. These are, I don't know where I got them from. It says made in Thailand. But the top is not like your regular, you know, pops off kind of ornament. So I'm not going to pull that off. I'm just going to add a pipe cleaner to it and tie it down. Thank you, Sherry. So, let me see if I can get to the back. like that and we will tie tie it down it's it's grabbed my shirt again guys all right that one is tied in hey Shirley it's good to see you. Oh. Now let's tie this one in. Go here on this side. And find my pipe cleaner. tight but I'm caught in something all right it's not gonna pull down tight in that spot because I have a twist tie there. So, there we go. Maybe. There we go. And I'm t twisting these on the crossbars in the back. The ones that connect the two um, rings. So I know it's not going anywhere. It's there to stay. Alright. We have bling. We have ribbons. We have 
ornaments. I think we got enough going on with this cute couple. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Hey, Phyllis. I think we've got enough pizzazz and bedazz going on with this. So, let me zoom you all back out. Ta-da! We have our gingerbread couple. We have our little girl gingerbread on top of my head. I like it. I really do. All right, guys. I appreciate each and every one of y'all hanging out with me tonight. Let me turn this off or I forget it. On a Saturday night, we had Friday night date date night last night. If you haven't liked and followed my page, Shore Life Creations, please take a second and do that for me. Like and share the video and pass the word. This will be posted in my Etsy shop. If anybody's interested, it's available. I'll take some updated pictures in just a few minutes. And you guys have a great rest of your Saturday night. And I hope that you do something good for yourself and be kind to someone just out of the blue. Do something nice. Open a door. Hold the door. Just smile and wave. Might make somebody's day or their whole weekend. You never know. Have a great night, guys. Love you.